Hello everyone. Good morning. So welcome to another free maths class for non-math student. As all of you know better, in the previous classes, I have already gone ahead and covered set theory completely. So we have done chapter one of class 11th. You can refer back to NCRT and revise that chapter. Okay. All videos, all videos of free maths for non-math students is available in our playlist. Please go through those videos. Okay, beta. So since we have gone ahead and done this chapter number one, today was the test of this chapter. This test is also available on our um, app. So for, for, you know, for future references, whenever you want to look into all the free material, you can download our app, Artha Point, and every free material that we do in these classes, it will be posted on that app. So for today, this is the test that you had beta. Let us go ahead and try to solve this test together. Look at the first question. I have already covered all these concepts in our free classes. I am just doing a test today with you guys. Okay. Look at the first question beta. Write A in the set builder format and four options are given to you. I am giving you one minute to solve this. Quickly try to solve this question on your own. You have A given to you and you have to write this in the set builder format. Just have a look beta. A is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. So square one square. 1 square. 2 square, 3 square, 4 square, and 5 square. S7 Rana. So, what should A be? A is such that A is square of natural number. So, the correct answer to this question, I hope all of you have marked it correctly in the test. It should be A. A is the correct, uh, it should be C. C is the correct answer to this question. Okay, beta, come forward, come to the next question. But if A, B, C are three sets, then A ka cardinal product with B <coughs> union C will be. So, beta, this cross product, it follows distributive property. It follows distributive property. Distributive property ka kya matlab hai? Matlab, I can distribute this across unions. That means A cross B union C will be A cross B union A cross C. So you can go ahead and follow distributive property and you can distribute. I hope this is clear to everyone. So answer will be, the correct answer is a. That's the correct answer. Okay, ji. Better come to the next question. Number of elements in A is 3. Number of elements in B is 6. A is a subset of B. Number of elements in A intersection B is equal to. Better it says A is a subset of B. Matlab, jo bhi A mein hai, wo B mein hoga hi hoga. So something like this. Better I can say A is 1, 2, 3. Better B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Clear? Beta clearly dikh hai A B ka subset hai. Ye bhi dikh hai ki A mein 3 elements hai. Or B mein 6 elements hai. So beta can you tell me what will be A intersection B? What is common between A and B? All these 3 elements na? A, B, 3, 1, 2, 3 na? So ye A intersection B mein A ke saare elements aajayenge. Kyunki ye A mein bhi hai aur B mein bhi hai. So, better then what will be number of elements in A intersection B? We are clear, ma'am. It should be 3. So, answer to this question is 3. That's the answer to this question. Okay. Come to the next question. Better next question, dekho. If R is this, then the range of the function is. Ye actually thoda sa um, out of... Um, you know, out of course, so yeah, out of course, money range is the second chapter beta. 
तो रेंज मैं भी पढ़ाऊंगी आई हैव इन टॉट यू रेंज येट आई विल बी टीचिंग यू इन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर बट एज ऑफ नाउ एक चीज समझो जरा बेटा ये कहता है कि टू को हम वन के साथ मैप कर रहे हैं टू इज कनेक्टेड टू वन हाँ बेटा फोर इज कनेक्टेड टू थ्री एंड फोर इज कनेक्टेड टू फाइव ऑल्सो ठीक है बेटा तो बेटा ये जो हो गया हमारा ये जो है हमारा ये हो गई हमारी रेंज ये एक तरीके से हो गया हमारा डोमेन तो वेन वी हैव टू फाइंड द रेंज ऑफ द फंक्शन इट हैज टू बी दिस साइड बट आई विल डू दिस इन माइन इन माई नेक्स्ट क्लासेस हम चैप्टर नंबर टू में ये पढ़ने वाले हैं सो एज ऑफ नाउ द करेक्ट आंसर टू दिस शुड बी बी ठीक है बेटा कम टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन लेट यू रिप्रेजेंट द यूनिवर्सल सेट ए इज वन टू थ्री बी इज सिक्स सेवन देन वॉट विल बी ए इंटरसेक्शन बी तो बेटा बहुत सिंपल है ए ये है ए में कौन से एलिमेंट आ रहे हैं बेटा वन टू फाइव अच्छा B कॉम्प्लीमेंट लिखा है यहाँ पे ध्यान से समझना सो so, बेटा B में कौन से एलिमेंट्स आ रहे हैं सिक्स सेवन तो B कॉम्प्लीमेंट क्या होगा यूनियन माइनस B तो यूनियन माइनस B जो है ये A है यूनियन माइनस B क्या हो जाएगा एवरीथिंग इन द यूनियन एक्सेप्ट B B के अगर एलिमेंट्स में हटा दू अगर मैं सिक्स सेवन हटा दू बेटा तो क्या मिलेगा वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव एट नाइन टेन ये B कॉम्प्लीमेंट हो गया अब ये कह रहा है ए एंड बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट का इंटरसेक्शन व्हाट इज द कॉमन बिटवीन द टू थिंग्स बेटा वन इज कॉमन देन बेटा टू इज कॉमन देन बेटा फाइव इज कॉमन तो जब मैं इन दोनों का कॉमन निकालती हूं तो आंसर आता है वन टू फाइव बट ये वन टू फाइव तो सेट ए ही है ना दिस इज सेट ए ओनली फॉर मी ना बेटा सो आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी दैट आंसर विल बी सेट ए आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू I am again repeating that all these questions are available on our app Artha Point. You can download this app. There, sir will give you access to free study material, and you can get that material. Okay, beta. This is very useful for all your entrance exam, even for your CUET entrance exam. Okay, beta. Let us go to the next question. बेटा नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन में क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन ले रही हूं तो टेंथ क्वेश्चन देखो अब सर इट इज सेट दैट एक्स माइनस वन कॉमा वाई प्लस वन दिस इज गिवन टू यू एस फाइव कॉमा सिक्स बहुत ही सिंपल क्वेश्चन है इट इज आस्किंग व्हाट विल बी एक्स एंड व्हाट विल बी वाई सो बेटा आई विल कनेक्ट दिस टू दिस सो इफ एक्स माइनस वन इज फाइव देन बेटा एक्स विल बी फाइव प्लस वन दैट मीन एक्स विल बी सिक्स एंड बेटा इफ वाई प्लस वन इज सिक्स then y will be 6 minus 1 that means y will be 5 so the correct answer to this question should be 6 comma 5 that means the correct answer is b theek hai beta come to the next question a and b are two sets then what will be this bahut acha question hai dekho when i say a union b complement union ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट इंटरसेक्शन बी इस पूरी चीज की वैल्यू निकालनी है तो बेटा क्या कर सकते हैं हम हम ना ऐसा कुछ बना सकते हैं एक वेन डायग्राम बेटा दिस इज ए दिस इज बी देन ए यूनियन बी क्या होगा व्हाट विल बी ए यूनियन बी ए यूनियन बी विल बी दिस एवरीथिंग इन ए एंड एवरीथिंग इन बी ए यूनियन बी हो जाएगा बेटा ए यूनियन बी का कॉम्प्लीमेंट क्या होगा एवरीथिंग इन द यूनिवर्सल सेट एक्सेप्ट ए यूनियन बी तो माने ये आ जाएगा आपके पास दिस विल कम लेट मी मार्क दिस हम ये येलो सेट आ जाएगा सारा और ये हट जाएगा दिस इज ए यूनियन बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट ये वाला पार्ट सॉल्व हो गया बेटा अब देखो ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट क्या है एवरीथिंग अदर देन ए तो इसको जरा हम देख लेते हैं एवरीथिंग अदर देन ए क्या हो जाएगा बेटा अगर मैं एक अलग डायग्राम में दिखाऊं आपको फिर से ये ए है ये बी है एवरीथिंग अदर देन ए अदर देन ए मतलब ये सब 
ये हो गया एवरीथिंग अदर देन ए अब नेक्स्ट बोल रहे इंटरसेक्शन विद बी इसका कॉमन एरिया बी के साथ कौन सा आ रहा है बेटा ये वाला यही वाला तो इसका कॉमन एरिया आ रहा है है ना यही तो कॉमन एरिया आ रहा है तो जो अगर हम इंटरसेक्शन निकालते हैं तो जो कॉमन एरिया आ रहा है बेटा वो ये आ रहा है अब इस सेट का ये हमारा हो गया बेटा ए यूनियन बी कॉम्प्लीमेंट एंड बेटा दिस इज ए कॉम्प्लीमेंट इंटरसेक्शन बी You need to find out what is the union between the two. So union means you will take everything in this and everything in this. That means you will include this part also in this now. This is only the extra part that I get from second one. So when I solve this entire thing, what am I getting? My answer is nothing but the entire universal set. Entire universal set. Except A, A के अलावा everything is highlighted. Except A, everything is highlighted. So you will have the entire universal set except A. So बेटा, this is nothing but A complement. That's the answer to this question. So answer should be ninth for ninth. It should be A. I hope all of you marked this correctly in your test this morning. The answer will be A. The test is available free of cost on Artha Point app for students who haven't attempted the test. Please attempt it from our application. Come to the next question, beta. Which of the two sets are equal to each other? Okay, <laughs> equal means elements of A should be in elements of B, and elements of B should be in A. So if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A, then beta, we have already done this in class. A and B are equal. Please refer back to my lectures. Okay, ji. So, beta, equal sets कहाँ दिख रहे हैं हमें? This also has one, two, three. This also has one, two, three. So, C is the correct answer to this question. These two are equal sets. Is this clear? Okay, beta, come to the next question. How many rational and irrational number between zero and one? Very good question. It can come in CUET for sure. So, the number of rational and irrational numbers. Between any two number, beta, they are infinite. I cannot count them. Example, देखो. This is zero. This is one. Beta, I can have half also. I can have one by four also. I can have one by three also. These are all numbers between zero and one, ना? Then I can have one by twenty-two also. One by twenty-three also. One by hundred also. ये सब zero से one के बीच में आएगा. I Cannot count those numbers. They are infinite numbers between zero and one, है ना? So the answer to this question, beta, it will be infinite. At last, question number six, beta. I will again say that this is out of syllabus for now. I have only covered set theory with you. ये actually chapter number two है. ये हम next Monday से start करेंगे. We will start this from the coming Monday. But for now, I will just try to solve this for you. But I will do this in class from next Monday onwards. So, but it is given y is equal to three x minus two. To find the range, you will write x as a function of y. So, but x will become y plus two by three. X will become y plus two by three. But y can take any value from minus infinity. Infinity. Y की कोई भी तो वैल्यू में एक्स की एक वैल्यू आएगी देर इज नो रिस्ट्रिक्शन ऑन द वैल्यू ऑफ वाई सो द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन विल बी ए वाई कैन टेक एनी वैल्यू फ्रॉम माइनस इन्फिनिटी टू इन्फिनिटी सो विद दिस आई हैव कंप्लीटेड सेट थ्योरी कंप्लीटली विद यू सेट थ्योरी में अब कुछ नहीं बचा है वॉट यू विल डू लुक एट द प्ले लिस्ट दैट वी हैव क्रिएटेड Which is called maths for non-math student. Do all videos. Those videos cover chapter one of class eleventh set theory. Then, after this, beta, after you do this, do the test that we have covered today. Everyone will revise this test. So, do test of set theory. And now I will meet you next Monday. Okay, beta. 
So next Monday, what is the date? The date is 4th September. So I will meet you on 4th September and we will start the next topic. So I will start chapter 2 of class 11th in CRP with you. Right, beta? So I will do, I think so this is range and domain. So we will start with this chapter. As again, I'm telling you, beta, the aim is that I cover with you the entire maths, whichever is important for CUET MA economics paper, for other MA economics paper, especially for students who are from non-maths background. This entire initiative will be very useful for you. You are going to learn entire maths with me. For now, before you come for the next class, it is my humble request. Please, please, please revise this entire playlist that I am telling you and definitely do this test. This PDF is available on EarthaPoint application. So just go to that app and you will get access to this free material. I will see you next Monday with the new chapter, which is going to be range and domain. For now, set theory is complete from my side. Okay, beta. Thank you.